Welcome to another episode of CG in Motion. I'm Shane Mess from King Toad's Comics and one of the creators behind the Mothman right out there. Watch this. See the spice? It's going to get happy. You know why I'm so happy? We just hired a colorist. Mm -hmm. Page is going to start getting colored today. So I am happy. So if you haven't signed up to the mailing list for the Mothman, I'm going to leave it in the in the uh, 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 section down there. <laughs> I keep wanting to say comments. Not in the comments section, Shane. That's not where we're going to leave it. I could leave it there, too. But I'm going to put it not there. But anyways, sign up to our mailing list. You get one of these hair. Cool Mothman decal. Uh, Sean Sweeney's art there. It's also going to be the t-shirt design as well so if you're kind of wondering well what Sweden's doing he's doing this this is one of his pieces right here you can put it on your car and people are like oh my god it's so scary the moth man but the description Shane the description in the video <sighs> my brain's like boom been a busy morning you know last night Kind of uh, uh, got things worked out with the uh, the artist for Mothman for the next 12 pages. You know, got that all set up and good to go with Elia. So, he's already penciled and inked first 12. Sent those out to the colorist today. Got all that all set up. And I was like, does, does my, can my brain function enough to make another video with all that going on? The answer is no, but I'm doing it anyways. That's what my cup of coffee's for. And I didn't know. I was like, well, what What do I want to do a video on? You know, I just did um, Sidekick Island. Super pumped for that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm backing it Thursday. If I got to wait for payday. I had to make sure I get all my other contracts and set up first and, you know, my needs come last when you're when you're putting together a project. Well, I mean when you're when it's comics, you know you're also helping them, so that's why I I back, you know. So, but anyways, I was like, so what do I want to do? You know, we're 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 getting into my favorite holiday, obviously, because I mean, I love horror, so we're creeping creeping a little bit closer. To the the Halloween time of the year, and I, I saw the I, I want to say Chinu the Chinu is that how you say it? that's what we're covering today. If you haven't figured it out, I, I have it right there. Uh, Graham Nolan's the Chinu. I have not looked into this campaign. It looks like it's doing very well. I guess I just I just get into it. We got a video. I'll shut up now. I'm just excited. I'm excited, man. You know, yeah, yeah, you, you hope things go a certain way as you go or get into to making comics. And luckily I have a good support system of uh, friends from, you know, the CG realm, uh, my business partners as well. Be like, you got this, Shane. Get in there. Just get in there. Get in there. They had me slaving away. Help me. <laughs> Save me. You don't know what it's like with Joe and Sweens. I'm joking. I'm joking. They're excited. You know, Shane's putting in the labor. Making sure things get done while they're working on stuff as well. 
I really can't wait for the next project as well. Like, I'm pretty sure we got the Death, Death, Death lined up for, for our next one. Just to let you know. You know, we, we were talking that. So, Joe Balls kind of leaked some uh, images out of that too. So, check out his uh, Twitter. I mean, most of you probably know Joe Ball from, you know, all the different stuff he's been doing. Everybody's always like, I need that Joe Ball artwork. So he's in demand. <laughs> Anyways, the Chenu. Graham Nolan. Let's watch this trailer. Trailer. Here we go. Good evening. Tonight's big story centers on the state of emergency declared this morning in Buffalo. Between four and five thousand cars said to be abandoned on city streets. Buffalo is still very much a city under sea. Space's wind whips the snow into 30-foot drifts. Niagara Falls Air Base, one of their... Below tonight, 10 below zero. Get off the streets and highways as soon as possible. pretty dramatic i liked it dun, 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 woo, dun, 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 woo. that's how you do a trailer short sweet but man it gets you like ooh man it's like a movie trailer for like i don't know man apparently graham nolan's popular <laughs> his his campaign's doing very well. <laughs> Woo, yeah, it is. Wait, he's got another video. Just another video, right? Oh, okay, so uh, uh, the Chinoo main cover process video. Oh, so you can sit here and just watch him make the, make the cover. You can see his, he's got some references going on. So you can see how he does his magic here. It's, it, I love it because it's kind of reminding me of my own project right now. You know, I love, I love monsters, man. I love monsters. I don't know how, I don't know how long we got to, I don't know how long this campaign has got left. I don't know how long it's been up. Uh, I said, I just kind of went moving to the Halloween side of things. I was kind of scrolling through. The old Twitters and stuff, and then seeing uh, what struck me as like a horror book for this week, uh, CG emotion kind of thing. Came across this. Looks pretty sweet. Look at that. He just, I knew it was sped up. Man, reminds me. Uh, I never read the series. But I always saw the uh, the work everywhere or the the comics everywhere. Uh, thirty days, thirty night, or thirty days and thirty days a night, thirty days of night. I think that's what that kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Got the winter thing. Winter comes blocks for what thirty days or something, right? That's the whole point of the the title. And the vampires come out and kill. I mean, that obviously isn't a vampire. This is what reminds me of it. I like I like the movie. I did see the movie of the Thirty Nights. <laughs> Shut up, Shane. All right, so let's go look see what we what we have available. I said I don't have all those campaigns up, so it might have it might still have some some stuff out other than the you know just getting a book. But uh, I mean, he's up to one thousand three hundred twenty one backers. That's awesome. You know, it's generated seventy six thousand eight hundred and eighty eight 
USD dollars. Man. So yeah, he's doing pretty good. This book definitely getting made. So if you back it, I'm you know, it looks like it's gonna you know come your way. Alright. See what we can get. Signed comic book level two. Where's level one? Wait, wait, wait. Did I skip level? No, I didn't skip over level one. Okay, so we're just going to restrict to two. Fifty dollars. Ninety-nine claimed. So the Chino. I hope I'm saying that right. The Chinu, the Chinu, the Chinu character, or includes item the Chinu signed, Chinu character sticker and poster for fifty. It's a 48 page book. So we got that right there. We can see. So there's our, our poster that will come with that. If you want to spend the 50, you get that. Check out this cool sticker. Sticker five pack. Oh, sorry. I know I went up a little high. Oh, there we go. With the Chinu just kind of his, his, he's just like, hey, I know I look scary, but I just need a cup of coffee. It's cold out here. I'm freezing my little snowballs off. I don't know. I always I do this voice. I'm sure you're probably tired of this one. So I said, I do. I know he's got laryngitis. He's been out there cold too long. He's a smoker. He's a snowman who smokes. I don't know where I'm going with this stuff today, people. Leave me alone. Just be entertained. I just know I'm half retarded. Mm -mm. All right. Sticker five pack. Uh, that's, that's all I got. Okay, for five dollars. <laughs> okay. So if you want some stickers, there you go. Anybody else collect... um? Uh, uh, Garbage Pail Kids stickers growing up. It's like being an 80s kid, we had them. We'd stick them on everything, man. Everything. Our dresser drawers and stuff. Closets. Do, 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 do. Your lockers at school. Pow, pow. Teacher black. What is that? Yeah, detention. But I collected those, man. And they're back. They, they got new ones out. And they're not as, um... They're still gross. Man, I mean, they were like intense back in the day. Very risque. When uh, in the eighties, when gross was cool. It's still cool, kind of. But uh, man, collected those. They got they got like Funko pops of of them now. I believe, right? There's a cereal. There's a Garbage Pail Kids cereal. It's those limited ones. It's Funko. So, you know, you're paying like $12 for a box of cereal. I think you get like a little character. But what I'm getting at is stickers are cool. Stickers are cool. We stick with things. Unless you're an adult. And then we're all like, what's wrong with us? We're just, we are so... <laughs> Got stuff all over my computer. My computer. We collect everything. We don't... <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Like, I get stickers. And I probably wouldn't even open them. I'd probably just... Hang it up somewhere. Especially with stuff like this because it's limited, you know? It's not like I can order it again. You get them, you got them, and unless it comes out in another campaign later on, you might not, not get them. So you don't want to sticker everything up. And you learn, too, as you get older. You, know, you enjoy, I mean, it is, it is nice to have that experience as a kid because, you know, your childhood memories and all. But a part of you is like, Oh, man, if I didn't open this, I would have just kept that. Man, I'd be rich. Imagine all that, like the Thundercats and He-Man toys and Turtle toys and Star Wars toys. Kept all those in package. You would have, you would who would have known you'd been set? Your parents probably think the same thing. Like, man, shouldn't have let him open them. Should just let him open the, the Christmas presents and just set them off to a shelf where he can't read. It's like, yay, oh, what is up there? You don't know. It's your college fund. 
to play with the box. Anyway, I'll shut up. You want this comic? Okay, here's the... I was wondering, I was like, man, I don't know if people's going to just jump on that $50 one. But there was a $25 one, and here we go. You want this comic? Signed. But plus sticker. So you get a sticker with this one. All right. The Chinoo signed Chinoo character sticker. I'll I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to jump on this one. Uh, this week, though, I have to back Sidekick Island. That's on my goal. Thursday. Because I do not want to miss that book. I mean, hopefully I get to this. Because I'm trying, people. I'm trying to back all your books. You know? Keeping everything in my budget. Making sure my Mothman book gets done. All while getting these cool comics as well. Because, man, if I wasn't doing a comic, man, I'd, I'd be broke just backing all these cool books. There's so many. So many cool ones. Oh, man. And this is a this is a black and white comic as well with I think the splash of the blood, which is so cool. I like that. I say I, I like I like the black and white. I almost left Mothman black and white. I almost. But I know it's not for everyone. And I can't just think of myself. I can't just think of myself. You want this one too. Variant cover. All right. So we got a variant cover. Probably the same, yeah. Comes with the sticker and then the variant. For 25 plus tax or shipping and handling. Signed new two sided snow globe. Now, this is different. Man, people's getting inventive. Inventive. People are getting inventive. Because, like I said, I just did Sidekick Island on CG Motion. CG on motion, uh, and they have a lunchbox, and that's the one. That's a that's a perk I want. That's why I went till Thursday. I would have just jumped on the the regular one, but I'm like I kind of want to go the extra mile on that that campaign and uh, get the uh, lunchbox with that one. And this one comes. With, this one has a snow globe thing. For, I think just for twenty five dollars, you get obviously probably just the snow globe, the snow globes. Start your own blizzard with this amazing two-sided snow globe. Yeah. That's cool. So, I mean, he's got the... Okay, let's go, I'm going to go up here real quick. You could jump on this signed comic book level 2 $50 one. Personally, though, if I'm going to spend 50 on this campaign... I say, you see the posters and stuff a lot with the campaign, which is cool. I mean, if posters your thing, then you get the poster. But if you're offering $50 for that, but if I just get, if I get the book, I might as well just spend the other $25 and get me a snow globe. I feel like, just for a more unique item. That's just personal, though. I mean, like, if, if you don't like snow globes and stuff, that's cool. You know, get the other one. But I'm just saying, for me... When my brain's working, it's like, so if I spend the 50, I can get the comic and the snow globe for something a little bit more unique to add to my, my CG or independent comics. Um, I say shelf and wall. It's going to turn into a room. It's going to turn into like a, like its own little mini museum of independent comics. And I want more stuff like this anyways. All this cool stuff. So I'm hoping this campaign's still going to be up for at least a couple more weeks. That way I can, I'm hoping I can jump on that as well. Because I wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind that. It's pretty cool. I dig it. I dig it, man. Mm -mm. I mean, people, people are liking it. 66 out of 100. Also, these are limited, though. But there's still a couple left. It's not like you have to like jump on it right now. But it is getting close. 66. I don't know how long, I don't know how long this campaign's got. Hmm. Book and print. Sunshine State. Chinu print. What's this? What's all this about? This little... Zero claim. 
but along with the book and stickers, you will be getting a high quality 11 by 17 print featuring the Sunshine State Gang having to promote the Chinoo. Hmm. My tough task master, but master, but I expect my characters to step up to the plate even now and then. A fun addition to any collector's wall. So I guess these are like some of his other characters from maybe another book. And he's using them to help promote Chinu. It's quite a guy got all that. Don't know. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to go down. That might be for somebody. Somebody might like that. Comic book. Grab bag. $75. What? What do you got here? Five random comics signed by Grant. I say this guy's obviously worked on a lot of stuff. Hey, the Batman Detective comic. Uh, I think I had that issue. I don't know. People don't want to slap me in the face. I come from more like uh, the book side of things. I started uh, doing um, kind of like children's books. I I'm a big fan of the scary series right here. Goosebumps. Uh, it was a big influence on me. And uh, I was writing kids chapter books and that's where I was going until I veered into uh, the independent comic thing now so my brain's been out of comics for a minute get back into it so I'm sorry I'm not one of those like really educated people with like the names you could show me a book, and I could be like, oh yeah, I read that, most likely. You know, I guess I collected a lot of stuff. Um, I'm just horrible with names. But apparently this guy's a name, because he's got a lot of stuff you can have signed. For 75, five random comics signed by Graham Nolan, spanning his 35-year career. Detective Comics, Hawkworld, Power of the Atom, Spider-Girl, Bane, Conquest X-Men, Forever Marvel Adventures, Black Hawks, Joe Frankenstein. Who knows what issues you will get? But they will be cool and all be signed. That's cool. Huh. So for you, you, um, big collectors, especially when you know, you, you don't got Comic Cons and stuff right now. You can't just go see these people. But they got these campaigns up. Get a little, you don't have to wait in line. Just get signed. All right. Sorry for not um, being the most knowledgeable person on on some of this. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. All right. Signed comic book level three. Okay, so we saw one and two. Here's three. Signed comic book level three. $100. Signed 48 page comic book signed by creator Graham Nolan and a cool Chinu Chinu character sticker also includes also included is the meat it's what's for dinner poster folding for shipping head sketch remark of the Chinu inside the front cover all right so you get a sketch you see these in a lot of the campaigns so there you go get it all in one you don't have to like uh, you know, subscribe to one or, or whatever, you know, buy one and then go over here and be like, oh, I want this one too. At least he's got something like it's all in one, one deal right there. Oh, there's the level one. I wonder why I want two, three. I guess I should have started back from the bottom and go up. I don't know. <laughs> or did I just accidentally... There's just a lot to this. All right, level one for a hundred dollars. Five copies of the Chinu comic signed by creator Graham Nolan. This is non-returnable. Includes signed. So this is for you know obviously if you have a storefront or maybe you're part of a a horror clique and you're like like a Monster Squad. You all go up in your little clubhouse and you're like guys, guess what I got first this week. What? Chinu! Everybody gets a copy. You get a copy. You get a copy. You get to go Oprah Winfrey on it. You get a copy. You get a copy. So there you go. You want to get some for your friends? Or maybe your knee bear? 
Some people are that way. They're, they'll get this, but I'm going to throw this on eBay. Sometimes you have to, man. I um, I came late in the game, and Ethan Van Skyver's Cyber Frog issue one was already done and passed. So I had to go the eBay route to get my first issue of that. I'm glad I did. I'm glad it was there. I really am. Even if I had to pay a little extra, I got it. Fine. Don't, I don't like to miss my Cyber Frog. All right, the Ultimate Monster Collection for 175. That looks cool. Oh, he's like, okay, he's like hardcover. The Ultimate Monster Collection. Not only do you get signed to new comic, but you also get the hardcover version of Monster Island and Return to Monster Island also signed. Oh, I don't know what Monster Island is, but apparently it's another one of his books. Man, I wish I could see that a little bit better. Like the, it looks like a giant, I see like a giant mouth. About to, it looks like about to eat this girl or guy right here. It's almost like a sandworm or, okay, yeah, like it's like it's like a, like a giant uh, uh, grub of some sort coming up. It's like a ah, little, little arms. Ah. I don't know. This one has like two people running away from him. Looks like a monster right there in the back. But yeah, so there you can get you get that. So if this one monster book's not enough, you can get three. Okay. Retail level two. Man, there's a lot of okay, I'm gonna just kinda skim through some of these because I don't want to make the video like forever long, because I want to look at the art. So you can you can what, I mean, obviously, these 100 and 200, these are for the extreme buyers anyways. Like, the people that really want to... Who probably really know this guy. We're big fans. Three-fourth bust sketch. What? Hmm. Yeah, so he's got he's got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, well, I guess that's close to the end. Well, if you want to see the last ones, you, you, you go right ahead. I was sold on the snow globe. I'm going to go up here. I want to look at some of the art. That's, that must be him. Hold his little snow globe. Very creative idea. Because it works with his monster. I mean, it, you know, obviously a snow globe is not going to work with like every single campaign. But his monster's out in the snow. It's like an abominable snowman kind of creature that eats people. It works for this campaign. I like it. Uh, there's that weird thing. I'll let you guys, if you're interested in whatever that is. I don't want to. I want to bore you too much by going over all this stuff. The main cover, which I really like. His hawk-like hands, his talons. Yeah. Pretty creepy, man. Look at them soulless eyes. Them demon eyes. Those are eyes of a killer. He has no mercy. He only lives to feast. Variant cover. You ever wonder, these monsters are always so hungry. Always so hungry. I mean, look, he obviously just killed something. How much do you need to eat? You gotta go and, and eat these people too? Now some creatures that make sense. Like, I mean, who knows? That maybe they're on his territory. And maybe he's got to stock up for the winter. But I would say it's kind of funny in some comics or even movies where uh, I'm trying to think of a really good one. My brain wants to go to Anaconda for some reason. I mean, you know that the giant snake. It like eats one person and it has to go back for another person. I'm like, how many how much do you eat, man? You just killing just to kill at this point? I don't know. It seems very wasteful. Jurassic Park was the same way. How much does that T Rex eat in a day? Man. 
He just, or says she, she just runs around killing anything and everything and then just leaving it. Man. I guess cats do that, huh? How many times does your cat, like, bring dead things up to the house and you're like, what? They will kill a whole army of squirrels if they can get a hold of them. I had that happen one year. <laughs> you know how sad it is when you walk outside and there's like three dead baby squirrels. You're like, what, what happened? You know? You got Alvin and the Chipmunks just slaughtered on the front steps. <laughs> it's a weird. The cat's staring at you like, yeah, this could be you. Now feed me. I'm like, oh, here you go. Yeah. Little psychos. I don't know. Page one. See, it's all black and white. I'm excited. Cause I When black and white is done right, it looks amazing. You know, when it's actually meant to be black and white. And this looks good. I'm already getting hyped. But this fisherman, he's like, look, he's having a good day. I, I fish a lot. I'm not good at it. I do a lot of bass fishing. So when you pull up a fish like this, you've had a good day. So I'm sad for this guy. Because he's having a great day fishing. And I got a feeling it's about to be ruined. What do you think? <laughs> that face says, yes it is. Yes, you are correct. Things are about to go bad. Is he outside peeing? Is this the traditional, yep, yep. Boy, I bet that is a cold pee. And then he's like, ah! Actually, you know what? The monster hasn't even showed up yet. He just touched his, you know what. He's like, oh, cool, it's cold. Ah! Uh. He's like, what in Sam hell? Page three, boom. Oh. See, I, I, love, I don't know, man. I love when like the black and white and they got like, just a little touch like the, the blood. Add that red. It's a little bit of color. That is cool. Yep. Man. Well, at least he... I don't know if that's the first guy or the second guy, but at least, at least you got to catch a big fish before he went out, you know? Who could say we all, you know, our last moments of life is doing what we love? Apparently, this, I mean, this guy might not like fishing. I don't know. Maybe it's just his way of living. He's like, I really hate being out here, but I got divorced, and I don't want to give him a duff, so I, I hiked to clear out here. To, now I got to fish for a living, but at least I'm not with her anymore. I don't know. Either way, things went bad. I'm just rambling on. Trying to keep it a little entertaining for you. As we look over these amazing pictures. Look at this guy. Is that a trucker out in all this? Oh, he's a, okay, he's a snowplow guy. I bet he was making some money. What is it, like a, a storm that comes every 30 years or so is what it said? Or, or something? I should have paid attention. I'm sorry. But if you paid attention, then you already know, so, yeah. So it looks like things might he might go wrong for this guy, too. Maybe he discovers the bodies. I, I, lo I love this. That was well done. I mean, it looks like the guy's, like, you know, shining a light in your face. It's, it's a very good panel. Very good work. I'm sure something simple, but I, oh, that's cool. This classic monster over this, over the, oh! He lost his head. He kind of like. I don't. He don't. He didn't see it coming. Not at all. You know what it reminds me of a ton. Or no, no, uh, a Wampa. Star Wars Wampas are in this. This would. Is this in the Star Wars universe? We got Wampas running around. What we need is a Skywalker. I don't know, Luke barely handled that one. Got out of there. Skin of his teeth. 
I was expecting it. I almost picked just a lightsaber. Hi, I found a knife. We can, we can sleep in this one. We don't have to do the tauntaun tonight. We got Wampa. Can you cook with a lightsaber? Because, you know, Han, Han opened that tauntaun up. You know, gutted him. I just wonder, like, I mean, I think it can melt through everything. Qui Gon Jinn uses it through a door. I mean, it just, it just keeps going, right? Very good heat source. What about if you slap some Wampa or Tauntaun on lightsaber, or if he, you know, sticks sticks the um, lightsaber in like a rock, and then just puts like some meat on top of it? I mean, it heat that rock up, I assume, right? Or you just turn on the lightsaber. Can you just yeah turn the lightsaber on and set it and then hold something above it? Like I wonder what the heat. I mean, it, it can at least heat stuff up. We know that because like I say it melted the friggin' doors and and uh, Phantom Menace. It has nothing to do with this book, but that's where my brain wants to go right now. So, deal, pickle. Anyways, guy gets his head whacked off. The new bookmark. Oh, okay. Here's the bookmark. You left off here. <laughs> Clever. I do like bookmarks. I read, so... Other than just, you know, comics. I don't really need a bookmark for a comic, per se. Usually I can read a comic in a, a sitting. But I do like them for when I read my Stephen King books. Collectible trading cards. There's the trading cards, so the perks that had those, there's a... There's that. And then the stickers. Yep. And then the poster. Our hero. Oh, so this guy, this guy that comes around. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm choking on my coffee, so I need more coffee to down my coffee. Our hero, Paul Jackson. I almost like a, now I'm getting kind of a Fargo feel a little bit, right? Because wasn't the hero of that like a cop? I mean, I watched to watch Fargo. I feel like there was a cop or, or a... Um, what do you call those people? A ranger? Maybe this guy's a ranger? I mean, that's what he just looks like in this picture. I could be absolutely wrong. But apparently this guy is going to be a key, key plot person's of interest. Uh... Some other stuff here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There's the story of a lovely creature. I don't know. In 1977, a once in 500 year winter storm hit the city of Buffalo, paralyzing the region. 23 deaths were attributed to the storm, but the truth could never be re revealed. There was something hidden. Man, Shane, can you not read today? There was something hiding in the snow and wind, something evil and malignant, and it was hungry. Today, another monster storm is brewing over the lake, and once again, it is bringing more than wind and snow. It's bringing death. All right. Paul Jackson was a kid during the storm of 77 when his father, Jimmy, was the chief of police. His dad told him stories about the storm that couldn't and shouldn't be shared. Stories of the Chnu, a giant frozen creature of Native American lore. It's always the Native American lore, man. Native Americans have some creepy stuff, don't they? I think it's a, like, the more movies and comics and stuff you watch, and when it's related to, like, Native American, um, I don't know, is that called mythology? Folklore? Whatever you call it. Some creepy stuff, man. When you, I don't know, there's something scarier than like witchcraft to me and all that stuff. When, you, when you're in the Native Americans, you're like, those people are pretty angry. Some evil stuff came out of that. They always had the best demons and stuff to summon. What in, um... Ah, uh, man, why can't my brain think of movies right now? Man. Never mind. 
I probably have it right behind me too. I probably should edit this part out. Like, uh, uh, there's a movie. It's got Native American demons in it. And Shane can't think of it. Never mind. But yeah, Native American demons and ghosts and stuff. Beast. Could be pretty scary. All right, I don't even know where I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be shared. Native American lore. It comes off the ice to eat the hearts of its victims in search of the warmth it will never have. Ooh, interesting. So that goes back to like how I was trying to say like, man, was this thing just, you know, these monsters always just kind of kill things and leave them there. But this seems like it has a, it's a curse almost. Now Paul is a cop and it's happening all over again. All right. 48 pages, man. It's pretty good. Stretch goals, everybody wins. Yay. Look, always unlocked. Bam, bam, bam. I mean, yeah, I mean, the numbers he generated. We got some stretch goals, people. Unlocked. Man, all kinds of stuff. Mm mm. Shipping to be determined. Probably depending on, you know, your region. Boy. I hate the fact I can't think of those movies now. They made like six of them. Insidious? Is it Insidious? Right? Had like the Darth Maul demon. When that's supposed to be like a Native American thing, right? It's been a while since I've watched them. I want to say it's Insidious. See, that's how my brain works. Sometimes you just gotta give me a moment. I, I could just go back and edit this out, but it might be funnier for you guys to watch me just kind of sit there like, uh, deer in the headlight kind of effect. But, um, so yeah, man. That's the Chinu, Graham Nolan. I plan on backing it. I say, hopefully, I got enough time because I say this week I got Sidekick Island, I'm gonna back. A couple of others. But I want to, I want to get the Psychic Island this week. I think we'll jump on on this one either this week as well or the week after. I try I try if I if I can I try to get back something a week. Stay on that. I don't want to go ahead of myself. And uh, so I got to make sure everything for the Mothman is being taken care of. And you know you never know what's going to come up. So. But yeah, I'm going to leave a link to in the descriptions for how to get to the Chinu, uh, this page here, and for our Mothman mailing list, I'll leave that as well in the description, and I think that's it for the CG Emotion episode, so yeah, good news all around, campaigns are all doing well, CG is in motion, <laughs> And, man, comics are are fun again, people. Comics are fun again. It's exciting. Exciting times. So until next episode.